Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota are called the Twin Cities, separated only by the Mississippi River. In 2021, Minneapolis recorded 655 carjackings and St. Paul recorded 101, for a combined total of 756 carjackings. The two cities combined for a population of 741,481 people. So that's one carjacking per every 980 residents. Here's the story of two young carjackers, 18-year-old Kashan Wortman and 19-year-old Nautica Argue, who got caught. St. Paul residents Kashan Wortman and Nautica Argue are accused of perpetrating nearly 25 carjacking-related offenses in St. Louis Park, Plymouth, Richfield, Brooklyn Center, Minneapolis, Edina, Wiper Lake, Roseville, Columbia Heights, Lakeville, Egan, Little Canada, Burnsville, Woodbury, and St. Paul. Some of these were high-profile crimes that garnered significant media attention, such as the January 9th carjacking outside of the YZ East Middle School in an attempted carjacking at an Edina daycare on January 12th, which was thwarted by former Minnesota Viking Robert Blanton. Their crime spree began on January 7th when they allegedly stole a running vehicle out of a St. Louis Park woman's driveway in the middle of the day. About an hour later, they carjacked a delivery driver at gunpoint in White Bear Lake. These cities are about 30 miles apart. They stole a total of 10 vehicles and attempted to steal many more over the next several days. They didn't hesitate to use violence against their victims, often threatening to shoot those who resisted or punching them in the face. They snatched purses and phones along the way and often targeted multiple victims in the same attack. In one case, they even threatened to steal a woman's dogs. Ramsey County Sheriff's deputies went looking for workmen on January 18th at the 1700 block of Maryland Avenue in St. Paul. They encountered a stolen Audi being driven by Wortman with Argue in the passenger seat. Wortman then led police on a high-speed chase and turned off his vehicle's headlights to aid in his escape. He eventually made his way back to the residence on Maryland Avenue where both of the criminals were arrested. Upon his arrest, Wortman told police that they should be out arresting murderers, not people who steal cars. Wortman is facing 17 charges while Argue is facing 14 and additional charges are expected.